Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're uh, looking into something pretty significant, the use of artificial intelligence in criminal justice. Yeah, how police and courts are actually starting to use these tools. Exactly. And the big question really is, OK, AI might help in some ways, but what are the, you know, the downsides? What should you be aware of? It's crucial because uh, the idea sounds good, right? Objective AI making decisions, but, well, it's not always that simple. So let's start there. How does AI even work as a decision tool here? It basically crunches data looking for patterns linked to crime. That's the gist of it, yeah. Analyzing huge data sets to spot connections, maybe predict where a crime might happen or who might be involved. But it's not like a crystal ball, is it? Definitely not. Think of it maybe like um, using past weather data to predict tomorrow's storm. It can be helpful, sure, but it can also be wrong. And in law enforcement, being wrong has serious consequences. Huge consequences, unlike a wrong weather forecast. Which brings us to bias, right? Yeah. How can the data itself lead to unfair results? Well, this is a major concern. Imagine an AI trained mostly on data from just one neighborhood. Oh, okay. It learns the patterns from there. Then it might uh, wrongly apply those patterns to people somewhere else entirely. Ah, so it sees things through a skewed lens because of the data it learned from. Precisely. It's like uh, judging a whole school based on the behavior of just one classroom. The AI isn't setting out to be biased, but the data can build that bias in. That makes a lot of sense. And what about privacy? These systems must collect a ton of information. Oh, absolutely. We're talking potentially vast amounts of personal data, where you go, maybe who you talk to, online activity, things like that. And if that data isn't kept secure? That's the worry, a breach, you know, someone hacking into police systems, the potential harm to individuals, their families. It could be really significant. Imagine that information getting out. Yeah, that's deeply concerning. So this data, biased or not, secure or not, it feeds into actual decisions, like suggesting arrests. It can, yes. Or assessing someone's risk level, say, for bail decisions or sentencing recommendations. But... If the data or the AI's interpretation is flawed... Then the decision itself is flawed. That's the danger. An AI might flag someone as high risk based on, I don't know, where they live or some connection that isn't actually predictive of criminal behavior at all. It's basing potentially life-altering decisions on correlations that might be meaningless or worse, discriminatory. Exactly. Superficial patterns, not real indicators. So what's the solution then? How do we use these tools if at all, responsibly. Well, it really comes down to rules and oversight, right. clear guidelines, just like we have rules for handling evidence in court. We need rules for the AI. Yes. And critically, we need rigorous testing. We have to constantly check these AI systems. Are they fair? Where are they going wrong? Like quality control for justice algorithms. Kind of, yeah. We need to ensure they're actually fit for purpose and not just, you know, automating existing problems or creating new ones. And if testing finds problems, biases then the systems need to be fixed. Or maybe even scrapped if they can't be made fair. The goal has to be enhancing justice, not undermining it. It takes constant work, constant vigilance. So for anyone listening, the takeaway seems to be, yeah. be aware, ask questions. Definitely. Understand that AI offers potential, yes, but it comes with real risks. We need to be critical about the data, the algorithms, the outcomes. It's about balancing that technological promise with Fundamental fairness. Precisely. Ensuring these powerful tools actually serve everyone justly. Lots to think about there. Maybe the final question for you to consider is, how do we ensure that as law enforcement adopts new tech, it doesn't lose sight of the human element? Mm -hmm.